Right. So this is the topic of actually molecular biology. So it was given in the cell biology uh, in our JL syllabus. Anyway, so uh, it is easy to uh, start um, this topic for me. So that's why I have started this. Anyway, protein synthesis. So what is protein synthesis? So protein synthesis is a process uh, by in which indirectly a protein, so this one, so this is a protein, a polypeptide. Okay, so indirectly synthesized from the DNA. Okay, so by means of RNA. Okay, so in which the RNA is produced and this RNA, it, it participates in the synthesis of a polypeptide or protein. So that is a protein synthesis. Okay, so DNA produces RNA. DNA produces RNA. RNA produces protein or polypeptide. This process is called protein synthesis. So it includes so transcription and translation. Okay. So protein synthesis includes transcription and translation. So today let's see a uh, detail uh, about <laughs> transcription process. How it occurs, where it occurs. So you remember this is important. So the transcription is occurs in nucleus of the cell. Okay, so what is transcription? It is a process in which RNA is synthesized from DNA. That is the definition of the transcription. Okay, so it is a process in which RNA is synthesized from DNA. Okay, so here the term gene uh, in molecular biology is different from the uh, genetics definition. So what is gene? Gene is the uh, functional unit of DNA. So which can be which can be transcribed. Which can be transcribed. So that is uh, called gene. So here, this is a gene, okay? So, for example, this is the part of DNA. So, here, this part of DNA, or this one, so, it, it, it can produce an RNA like this. So, this is an RNA. It is produced from this part. So, this part is the functional part of this DNA. So there are many functional parts. There will be many functional parts on DNA. So any such uh, functional part is called DNA that can be transcribed into a, an RNA, into an RNA that is called gene. So you remember the definition of uh, you know the gene. Okay. So the genetic information stored in DNA is expressed through RNA. Okay, so the genetic information which is present uh, in the form of uh, this uh, these nucleotides. Okay, so that is expressed in the form of RNA. This process uh, is called transcription. Okay. Right. Yeah, so we all know that DNA uh, generally exhibits two strands. So one among, see, this is a DNA. Okay, so this is one strand, this is another strand. Here, out of these two strands, so this strand, this, this block strand of DNA, it is producing RNA, or it is participating 
uh, in the production of the RNA. So this strand of DNA is called template strand. Okay, or sense strand. Sense strand. So you can also call it as non-coding strand. So why non-coding? I'll, I'll uh, explain. So then later another strand that is not participating in production of the RNA is called you know anti-sense strand or coding strand. See here this strand is participating in production of the this red RNA. Okay. So this strand is template strand printing mission. Okay. So uh, it is also known as sense strand because the sense has on it. Okay. So and uh, why it is non-coding? I'll explain uh, after this. See this uh, strand of DNA that is not participating in uh, RNA production. So that is, as uh, naturally, that is called antisense strand and the coding strand. Why coding strand? See, if you observe the, you know, uh, structure of this newly forming RNA and this antisense strand. So except to uracil, remaining parts are similar. Okay, this RNA will become the genetic code in the protein synthesis. Okay, so see here A is there, A is there, C is there, C is there, G is there, G is there. Okay, so this these three will act as a genetic code or triplet code during the protein synthesis and it is similar to uh, this uh, antisense strand. So as uh, this strand contains codons like sequence, okay, so this strand is called coding strand. Okay, so e form a RNA and this uh, the strand which is not participating in transcription are similar in structure except in place of uracil. RNA lo thiamine undadu, uracil matter undadu. Instead of thiamine, uracil is present. So anyway, so that's why the this strand is known as, you know, uh, coding strand. And there is, there is uh, another uh, synonym is also uh, there for the template strand. So that is called plus or positive strand okay so naturally it will be so negative or minus strand so it is generally uh, asked in the examination don't be confused so then as this it like becomes broad right so this is the depiction how the transcription takes place anyway so here transcription is the process in which RNA is synthesized from the DNA. So primary transcript, see it is the newly formed RNA from DNA. Okay, so newly formed RNA from the DNA is called primary transcript. Sometimes it is also known as heterogeneous uh, RNA. Okay, so particularly uh, uh, it is mRNA. So anyway, so in eukaryotes, it is uh, when RNA is formed uh, in the nucleus. Okay, so it is not functional. That is called primary transcript. Okay, after uh, post transcriptional modification, then that is called as uh, RNA complete or functional RNA. Okay, so after post transcriptional modification will be functional right so anyway so now let's see 
transcription in prokaryotes. So the transcription process is very, very complex process. Okay, so it is well studied in Escherichia coli or in prokaryotes. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's see the transcription uh, process in prokaryotes. Okay, so the, there will be some uh, differences between the process of transcription in prokaryotes and in eukaryotes. Anyway, so here the enzyme the enzyme that yeah RNA polymerase is an enzyme that catalyzes synthesis of all RNAs from DNA. You remember the enzyme that produces or that catalyzes the transcription process uh, that ultimately produces the RNA from DNA. So that enzyme is uh, generally called as RNA polymerase. It catalyzes the synthesis of all RNAs. Okay, from DNA. So, in prokaryotes. Okay, so okay. So that is uh, RNA polymerase. Okay, here the RNA polymerase is more or less is uh, a hollow enzyme. Okay. So, this is RNA polymerase structure. So, in the RNA polymerase structure, there are five polypeptides or subunits are present. Okay. So, here you can see two alpha subunits, one beta and a beta prime. Okay. These are the uh, four uh, polypeptide subunits. Uh, they are commonly known as core enzyme. So there is another uh, polypeptide specific protein. So that is called sigma factor. So when it is bo uh, bound to this core enzyme, then it is called as hollow enzyme. So anyway, prokaryotic RNA polymerase exhibit five subunits, two alpha, one beta, one beta prime, and a sigma factor. Without sigma factor, the remaining part of the enzyme is called core enzyme. And core enzyme plus sigma factor is called polo enzyme. Okay, so two alpha, one beta, and then beta prime, and a sigma factor. Okay, so constitutes R and for Shortcut to Paul and the Mr. Casual. Okay, so without sigma factor, it is called porous. So, this is how the transcription process takes place. Okay, so this is a double strand DNA, DNA, and this is a uh, you know, template strand, right? So, here this is core enzyme, this is uh, sigma factor. Uh, is bound to core, core enzyme to become hollow enzyme. This hollow enzyme bound here, okay, promoter region. Okay, so here it is moving forward and the RNA is synthesized like this. So the newly forming uh, RNA is by two prime direction. It is formed. So here it is initiation and it is elongation. And here it will be termination. After termination, so, newly synthesized RNA here. Okay. And uh, so, this uh, RNA polymerase is detached from this double, uh, DNA strand. Okay. So, again, it will be reused for the next transcription process. So, anyway, so this is DNA template here. The initiation, this is elongation, and this is target. Anyway, transcription includes three steps, initiation, elongation, and termination. Okay, so here, yeah, so this is RNA polymerase. This is the double-stranded DNA. Okay, so 
anyway rna polymerase enzyme first binds to dna at promoter's region or promoter site okay so this is important you should remember okay so here what is promoter region here for example if it is a dna strand peptide strand so the rna polymer for example so this is the place where the gene starts and it ends here and uh, rna polymerase doesn't directly bind bind here it cannot recognize this part so it will recognize some distant part so very near to starting point of transcription so that area is called the promoter site from here it moves forward and from here the transcription will be started okay so that is uh, promoter region you remember anyway in prokaryotes there are two promoter regions okay so one is tata box it is also known as fibro box remember the name so fibro box so actually the tata box it is uh, it contains so ta taap sequence okay so six base sequence or six nucleotide sequence So, it is present, this Tata box or Tata sequence is present 10 bases upstream. That means left. Upstream to the transcription starting point. Okay. So, here, for example, from here, if the transcription is being started, okay, so, so from here, the transcription is started, okay, so that means the gene is started from here, okay, so the RNA polymerase, okay, so binds here, so 10 bases above or upstream or left side of the uh, transcription origin or uh, uh, starting point. Okay. So here Tata sequence is present, TA, TA, A, T. So here it binds uh, the RNA polymerase and that's why it is called promoter rich. Okay. So as it is TA, TA, A, A, so it is uh, famous as Tata box. Okay. And there is another uh, sequence called uh, 35, 35, Thirty five prime sequence. So it contains base sequence of PTGACA. Okay. So it is present left side of the uh, upstream region of the uh, start of transcription. So at the, at the distance away of thirty five bases. If they want ten bases to run out of the thirty five bases to run out of the here you can see PTGACA. So this sequence. Uh, is another promoter RNA polymerase either it can bind here or here and it moves forward from here it works okay so anyway uh, yeah so these two are called the promoter regions okay one is data box another one is 35 prime sequence So that is uh, initiation. Okay. So that is where the you know uh, the um, RNA polymerase will bind. See, this is uh, again another diagram. Okay. Here the newly forming RNA is formed five prime to three prime direction, whereas the template strand will be in three prime to five prime direction. 
Okay, so you remember that. Don't be confused. Okay, so and uh, yeah, and another thing is elongation. How the elongation is? For example, how it is started? Here, this is the uh, template start, and this is the sequence DNA sequence. Here, RNA polymerase identifies this T, and it it uh cap it captures an adenylate nucleotide okay and it, uh, it keeps here and then again here a is there so this is newly forming rna in rna there will be so uracil instead of thiamine other dna like the thiamine so one another will see that so a place lo uni add yes c place lo gene add yes g place lo c add yes T place no A and is in the A place no U and is Okay. So this is how the elongation takes place. And so this process is based on complementarity. So you can observe this the A key T key Madhalo double bond to the A key U key Madha double bond to the C key G triple triple bond form of the so it is complementary. If you read it a complementary, if you read it, okay, complementary would type. So anyway, so elongation after binding, sigma factor will be released from the you know hollow enzyme. Okay, so uh, for R the RNA polymerase in there. So RNA is synthesized. This is you remember five prime to three prime direction and anti parallel to DNA. DNA lo three prime to five prime trial in countries of the country. So RNA polymerase utilizes the in CSI rationality question. So utilizes a ribonucleotide triphosphates like ATP, GTP, CTP, UTP. Even if you are triphosphate blue, M triphosphate blue, a ribonucleotide triphosphate blue. Okay, not TRC ribonucleotide triphosphates. Okay, they are ribonucleotide triphosphates. Okay, so like ATP, GTP, CTP, UTP for the formation of RNA. Then the nucleus of the ribonucleotide, nucleus of ready the pool of uh, ribonucleotide, ribonucleotide triphosphates and already available. Type. So, what me, Okokadani, Ila, IDS to LP number, RNA polymerase. So, that is elongation. So, uh, based on nucleotide present on DNA, its complementary nucleotide is added to growing RNA. Okay. And a pyrophosphate is released per every nucleotide added. Okay. So, uh, you remember that. And then, you can add the adenosine triphosphate to this. Okay, so adenosine triphosphate and the adhesion of the download the rendu phosphate lano remove the adenosine monophosphate no add this to the other than a duty flow to rendu phosphate in the UMP ni add yes to the other than the GT flow in the rendu phosphate in the GT GMP ni add this that is a uh, pyrophosphate and a rendu phosphate lama. PPI and Panam switch is the PPI, pyrophosphate, and the endophosphate. Right. So, and here the speciality of uh, RNA polymerase uh, is RNA polymerase doesn't need a primer like uh, DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase Panja Alante of primer. Okay, but you could also learn. It has no endo or exonuclease activity. Okay. RNA polymerase to endonuclease or exonuclease activity, like the proof reading activity and any way do. DNA polymerase to the Okay. So, anyway, this is very, very important. Okay. So, the time into DNA uh, replication will be done last block. So, but syllabus will be public there in this transition. Supercoiling problem is overcome by topoisomerase enzymes. 
So what are tropo isomerase evidence? Simple here. Uh, before starting, uh, yeah, you can use Manaki RNA polymerase and the Tla Mundu Pitla. Well, to know the Mutlande. So, it had a super kyle and a Rendu strands and it went in the Girkai, Moody Badatka, not Badatka, out there, but that is called super kyle. Okay, so Abdea Mutundi and a this is a smooth render templates and it went to be separate out of custom. So, our time low, topo is summarized and it went to enjoy money in this one. So, Biniani, leather, Biniani, Tajes. Our Tajagan is free. I put Mali normal, you know, what we call normal stand like Marco. Okay, so DNA guides are like the topo isomerase two and a demo rendu DNA lobes are countries. Okay, topo isomerase one and a so single strand marker countries. So uh, that is the function of topo isomerase enzymes. Here, the problem of topo isomerase uh, superkyling is uh, overcome by topo. Isomerase enzymes and then termination. So it may occur in two ways. One is a row dependent termination, a row independent termination. A specific protein called rho so binds to growing RNA or DNA, not to DNA, RNA polymerase. Okay. So either it, it binds to RNA or DNA, DNA newly formed RNA. Or DNA, so that stops the transcription, and the RNA polymerase is released. Okay, so, data. if the class is uh, closed suddenly, okay, you simply join with same link again immediately. Okay, right. So anyway, <coughs> here there are two kinds of terminations. So, row dependent termination, row independent termination. So, ikkada manaki chun. So, this is a row factor. So, it binds to this uh, RNA. Uh, sorry, not RNA. Uh, it, it binds to DNA or uh, to the growing uh, RNA. Okay, then we'll lay more than that. So, E NJ one is the Nunchi slip out to the uh, release out to the and uh, the RNA would have DNA means separate out to the IR. So, that will be released into the nucleoplasm like this. So, uh, this is called row dependent uh, termination. Okay, so, Konikona Sarlo, Nikopara Kona termination. See, uh, this is uh, the nucleus. Uh, yeah, so we will found RNA. This is okay, our primary transcript, so it will be detached uh, from the you know uh, DNA star. So this is RNA polymerase, anyway. Yeah, row independent termination it is by formation of hairpins. So hairpin laga U shaped structures form of the end of the uh, what we call the newly forming uh, RNA key and uh, DNA key. The Ikarkochi, the Ikaduna to the area that is called polydrome and every area of the area can bind the other one of a U shaped structure form. So Ikaduna to the bonding and a thing for RNA and a deliver. So that is row independent termination. Apply the two hairpin form of the ante polyndromic sequence. Polyndromic sequence and example of the English language law choose the madam and a padamundi. Okay, so he made a one a padan one of the twins as a madam into the twins as a madam. Allah, so put the sequence is a good ante. So, for example, easy garden or the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P T 
सो इंटरनेम सो दिन वाले बंधम ब्रेक सो ट्रांसक्रिप्शन complex and there are different kinds of rna polymerase enzymes uh, to produce different kinds of rnas whereas in uh, you know uh, prokaryotes only single rna polymerase enzyme it produces mrna it produces trna it produces rrna but here there are different kinds of uh, polymerase enzymes are present so some differences let's see so eukaryotes rna polymerases So there are three uh, types of uh, RNA polymerase enzymes. RNA polymerase one, so for the production of rRNA. RNA polymerase two for the production of mRNA, and small nuclear RNA. And uh, RNA polymerase three for production of tRNA and small ribosomal RNA. So in this way. Different kinds of uh, R, uh, RNA polymerase enzymes are present in eukaryotic cells for different kinds of, you know, uh, RNA. See, RNA polymerase one for ribosomal RNA, RNA polymerase two for mRNA, RNA polymerase three for tRNA. Like this. And there is another difference regarding the promoter regions. Okay, so here in eukaryotes, there are different kinds of uh, data boxes. uh or you know cad box or promoter sites are present here so in eukaryotes there are two kinds of strata box uh, sorry promoter regions are present one is hognes box another one is cad box so hognes uh hognes box is a is nothing but a uh strata box but here uh its sequence is a p a P E A. Okay, so uh, it is present twenty five bases upstream to this point of uh, you know transcription. There is a, another sequence called C A A T cat box. Okay, so that is present about seventy to eighty bases uh, upstream from the start of transcription. Okay, so that is. Uh, its sequence is given here. You can see G G C C A A T C. If it is C A A T, we have the cat box. Then we start. Right here. G G C C. Right. So the scent. Okay. So in eukaryotes, the immediately formed RNA is called heterogeneous RNA. Uh, the primary uh, transcript is called heterogeneous RNA. Right. So here, in eukaryotes, the primary transcript is called heterogeneous RNA. Okay, so that undergoes many post-transcriptional modifications. Okay, so the newly formed RNA will will be edited. That is called post-transcriptional modification. So there are uh, three. Kinds of uh, post-transcriptional modifications. One is five prime capping. What is five prime capping? Okay. So left side of the RNA. Okay. So at the five prime end of mRNA is capped. Okay. 
Yapur is nothing but added. Okay. With seven methyl guanosin. It is an abnormal kind of, you know, uh, guanine. Okay. So by a special bond uh, called 5 prime to 5 prime triphosphate linkage. Uh, here the methyl uh, group is donated by S adenosyl methionine amino acid. Uh, donate this in the, it prevents from the cleavage of RNA by nucleases. Nuclease enzyme lo, e kota airport the RNA lo, uh, degrade jay kona, that helps. And then addition of polyatyl. Okay, RNA ki B prime end, and the ending point lo, so many adenine nucleotides are added to stabilize the RNA. And the last one is RNA splicing. See, uh, so here these block areas are, uh, you know, coding areas. And in eukaryote uh, RNA, there are some unwanted or intervening sequences. Okay, so our uh, intervening sequences in trans and Atlant in trans, so small nuclear ribonucleotide uh, proteins. Okay, so with the help of these, okay, so this part is removed. That is called RNA splicing and so. So witness spliceosome sometimes you can ATP nucleus also. Okay, small ribonucleoproteins. In the small RNA also the ribosomal proteins. So then one name also the so rendu exam la net one the exam la exam la the so unnecessary point is removed. Okay, the original RNA is found. So this is excise in trans. So this is transcription. Uh, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, if you cut out the name, then no, they are much better. Yeah, so inhibitors of transcription. So, inhibitors like actinomycin D, which is produced by the streptomyces bacteria. So, it blocks the DNA uh, so that the RNA polymerase cannot move forward. Okay, so that is uh, one uh, kind of uh, inhibitor of transcription. And then one is rifampin. It, it binds to beta unit of RNA polymerase. Okay, so uh, the RNA polymerase stops moving stop synthesizing RNA and this is uh, also famous alpha amanitin it is produced by, uh, by an agaricus like fungi uh, a mushroom called amanita species which is a kind of poisonous uh, you know mushroom okay so anyway uh, the this chemical or toxin Toxin. Okay, so it binds tightly to RNA polymerase to eukaryotes. Okay, so so that the transcription is stopped. Right. So these are the uh, inhibitors of transcription. Okay. So there is a, this term. It will come again uh, in our DNA technology. So reverse transcription. So certain retroviruses contain uh, reverse transcriptase enzyme that produces DNA from RNA. So RNA nunchi DNA no produces enzymes ni to ne retroviruses and molecule. So uh, they synthesize DNA molecule from the RNA molecule. That is reverse transcription. RNA, DNA means RNA protein production is transcription. RNA means DNA produced out of reverse transcription. So, this is uh, today's class. Let's continue tomorrow. Uh, let's complete the protein synthesis. Okay, Emma? Right.